Action, uh, crafting 101. How to get started, what are we going to do? What are we going to do in our first couple of hours of seven days to die? Looking at our menu, we have the ability to break things down. Craft a number of different things, which I won't go through each individual item. Every essential seven days to die game is going to need a stone axe. So we're going to take a stick, acquired from pushing, punching some of the more prickly bushes. Plant fibers we got from punching the grass and turning those into plant fibers. And a sharp stone that we made from a small stone turning it into a sharp stone. Crafting our hatchet, which we're going to use as a melee weapon. The ability to chop down trees. Do a whole bunch of different things. Stone axe can be used as an effective melee weapon. Let's make a crossbow. Go to our inventory and click on the ammos and weapons. And then we're going to figure out where the crossbow is at. You can see it right here. That's our crossbow setup. But we don't have any. With our crossbow built, we're going to need some arrows. Let's take those sharp stones, sticks, and feathers and craft as many arrows as we can make. Make sure you pull out your crossbow and reload it with a bolt before trying to fire it. One of the easiest ways to get food is by hunting with a crossbow. Two shots to a stag or one shot to a rabbit will do fine. Crossbow is very effective at killing zombies. Just make sure you get a headshot. Nighttime comes quicker than you think and it's important to stay safe so let's build ourselves a shelter. First we're going to build several wood frames which you can see that you can make by putting wood planks in a circular pattern like that. Now that we have our wood frames it's time to start building a base. I framed in my door and filled out those wood frames and how do we do that? Pull out our wood axe and hold down right click on one of our wood frames. Each fill in is going to cost two wood planks so we want to make sure we have plenty of those. Zombie started to break one of our blocks. Just hold right click with your hatchet out and we'll repair it straight away. Let's make a fire, cook some food. Make a fire. Press E to open up our fire. Drop a stick in the cookware. Put the meat we want to cook in the middle. And add a fuel source, which in this case I'm going to put a couple lumps of coal. Craft a secure storage chest. So we have a place to put our stuff. Store our meat once it's been cooked. We're going to be grabbing cotton as we run around. Cotton's going to make us some cloth fragments so that we can build ourselves a bedroll. Stacking one on top of another is going to make cloth fragments. Range cloth fragments across the bottom with one up. It's going to give us a bedroll or a sleeping bag. When we place our sleeping bag, that's going to give us a spawn point so that if we ever die, we come right back to it. You'll also notice... On your map now, if you clear all your waypoints, you actually have a little house for your marker, which shows up on your compass. It's starting to get dark. What are you going to do? Let's pull out our lumps of coal and our sticks. We're going to craft ourselves some torches. You then take those torches, hold them in our hand for a light source, or we can walk around our base, placing a couple. Maybe we'll put some outside so we know it's coming. And that concludes our 7 Days to Die Crafting 101.